I have over 300 videos on YouTube fishing on this boat. And I've probably done about, probably six to 800 fishing trips on this bad boy. It's got a new tower on it, new engine, new dive platform, completely reinforced Kusa transom board. That rust looks terrible there, but that comes right off. Probably should have cleaned it before this video. Oh, dang, dang. Why would I be selling this beast of a creature? Something I learned early on in life is, no matter how big you are, there will always be something bigger. I've put over $90,000 into that boat. It's a beast. It's finally in the prime of its primal predator beast America. The engine runs great, all the electronics work, all the pumps work, completely reinforced. It's still got warranty on it. It's a brand new 2020 engine, it goes 50 miles an hour, and I fish it a lot. So why am I selling it? Because I want to fish even more. Done, 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 done. Wait, hold on, hold on. I can't, I can't show you yet. Having put over $90,000 into this boat, electronics, sound system, making it completely custom and badass. Second station up there, the best part about the boat. And those were pre-COVID prices. So in my mind, this boat is worth an easy $100,000. Now to put it into perspective, perspective, you wanna see what a million dollar boat looks like? Done, done, I feel like Steve Irwin right now. What, what, what? Okay, we gotta be real quiet. We don't want it to take off running now. That, that's that's all you can I almost fell off the dock oh. Before I tell you how this freaking boat is on my dock what, what is it? Why do I have a million dollar boat tied to my dock right now? How did this happen? You know before we get into those details, let me just make you drool a little bit. Let's play the reel Pause the music, party's over, look what I found. Freaking bird poop on everything. I put my hand in some poop. Just stop the music. Why do birds always gotta poop on everything? The bigger your boat, the more surface area for birds to poop on it. This thing is huge. It's 42 foot invincible cat. It's got a windlass. In there. Makes pulling the anchor up super easy, super automated. Some life jackets in the front. Ropes and buoys. Now I gotta say, just the front of the boat, just the bow of this boat is massive. Because it's a cat, which means it basically sits on two hulls. It is an extremely wide boat. If you were to trailer this boat down the road, it is a wide load. You would need assistance. I don't think you can legally tow this boat by yourself. I mean, just the front platform is massive. I could have a dance party up here. There's tons of rod holders there. There's even more on this side. Rod holders running all the way down. This bed, Okay, I'm just over six feet. And I'm not even close to the end of it. 
<laughs> this thing is a friggin' beast. Imagine the things you could do here. Hold on, I need two hands to open this. So that's uh, one really big cooler fish box. Actually, the fish boxes, these aren't the fish boxes. These are just, I don't know. Oh, look at that. Got American flag in there. Ready to fly high at the sandbar. Okay, this is the inside. We'll have a look in there in just one second. But I gotta show you guys these live wells. They are massive. I could fit inside of that. I could crawl into that. And then we have another live well in the floor. That right there is another live well. This fish box, there's one here, and there's another one here. These are massive. Look at this. Hold on. I'm gonna crawl inside. <laughs> okay, just to give you an idea how big these fish boxes are, I'm six foot. Okay, I am completely laying flat. And I got about another foot that way, and I got another foot behind me. That is how huge these fish boxes are. Imagine filling these things up. Who can sit inside of their box like this? It's insane. Yep. That's a big fish box. So now I gotta, I gotta learn how to catch more bait. And then I gotta use that bait to catch more fish. Cause we got some big live wells, we got some big fish boxes, and we got 1600 horsepower behind us. These are Mercury Verado 400s. Absolute insane. I don't think the video is doing justice how big this boat is. So I'm trying to walk around a lot to really show you like, just to get from the front of the boat to the back of the boat. I'm taking full stride steps right now. <laughs> it's huge. The music on this thing hits hard. Got our seats. The flush system is pretty cool. You put a hose in there and it'll flush all four engines at the same time. And in no time after your fishing trip, your boat will be rinsed off clean and ready for its next adventure. This is the inside. There is a loo in there, so you can go to the bathroom. Here you have your circuit board. Um, all your batteries are in here. It might be a little dark in there, but... It's all the electronics. I've spent the last few days learning these electronics. The first thing that you do is you want to turn your... See, every engine has its own key. There we go, they're all turned on. Now we're ready to go fishing. This boat makes my boat feel so small. Get this freaking thing. And it's so smooth. Like even though it's a 42 foot, it feels, it's easier to handle than my boat, believe it or not. So the South Florida Fishing Channel, me, has exclusive access to this boat. And I'm sure some of you have already seen it. Y'all have already seen it. This is the extreme outdoors boat. I'm just gonna jump up on here, you know what? Oh, we have some extremely crazy collaborations coming up with Joe from Extreme Outdoors and all the people over there. Oh. We already did some pretty sweet fishing on this boat, but there's a problem, okay? We got a slight problem. It's, it's not really a problem, but it could be a problem if you guys don't help me out. You see, we have a huge trip planned on this boat. I mean, on epic proportions. I can't even begin to tell you 
the things that are involved in this trip that we're planning. Helicopters, tridents, hooks so big that you think it's a car tire, storms, speeds so fast that lightning can't even keep up. That's pretty fast. What's Heiko ta what am I talking about? What's the problem here? We have a trip so big. Hello, hello, hello. I can hear my echo in here. So here's the problem that I need your guys' help with. And I really hope you're gonna help me. Extreme Outdoors. We gotta get their YouTube channel to 25,000 subscribers. They're already doing pretty good. Well, we gotta get them to 25,000. Because as soon as they hit 25,000, some crazy videos are gonna get posted on this channel. We're also doing an exclusive trip on this boat that's just gonna blow your mind because it's blowing my mind just even thinking about that I'm even gonna go on a trip like this. I'm gonna film the whole thing, I'm gonna edit the whole thing, and then I'm gonna upload it to the Extreme Outdoors YouTube channel, and that's the only place you'll be able to see it. So, right now if you're watching, pause the video, go to Extreme Outdoors on YouTube, and just click the follow button, or I mean the subscribe button. Follow or subscribe, whatever, whatever it says, just click it. And then leave a comment on one of their videos that says, let the adventures begin. And that's all there is to it. That's all the help I need. And as soon as their channel hits 25,000 subscribers, I'm gonna be posting a really crazy video. We have like four or five video ideas of things that have never been done on YouTube. And we're kind of just weighing our options, which one we wanna do. And I'll be honest with you, we'll probably just do all of them. I'm actually about to take this boat out for a spin. I'm still getting familiar with it. Joe from Extreme Outdoors, he asked me if I think I can handle her and I, I asked him, you got good insurance on her? Cause it's a million dollar boat and he said he sure does. So I said, then, then I'm good to go. <laughs> this is the best part about the boat. Getting off this boat, it is so big. Look how far down my dock is. I have to stand up on this thing. Okay, at this point I'm like eight, 10 feet from the ground and I have to, Really thankful for the guys at Extreme Outdoors for uh, giving me this opportunity to be able to create content on such an epic boat. There's some content I want to create that can only be done on a boat like this. When you're running two, three hundred miles out into some unknown territories. That's not a spoiler alert. <laughs> wow, my boat all of a sudden looks a lot smaller. <laughs> it's like a toy boat that you play with in a bathtub. No, no, no. This boat is amazing it's a totally different class of boat this is the solo trip you know you want to run out offshore by yourself like i do this right here you can handle it it can handle itself all right enough about boats come on we want the fish Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. like smoked kingfish my favorite ah, and you know what else we want what do we want your guys's favorite here's a little bit of Captain Elliot. What up, buddy? Hey, look at the camera. Yeah, taking a little nap. Look who we got over here. Who we got over here. Man, it's, it's nappy, sleepy kitty time. <laughs> Good old Penelope. My new saltwater aquarium. We're, that's for a different video. I don't want to spoil, that's just a little spoiler, not a spoiler alert. And huge thank you to Joyce. Freaking made this epic, like extremely epic Mahi mount. I mean, that is just, whew. Joyce also made us this one. Yeah, I remember that Toro snapper episode. That was a crazy one. Look at this guy, freaking massive. World record. I think there's a chunk of you guys right now that are probably thinking, Dang it, Heiko, we don't want to see you on these huge boats and doing these crazy things. We just want the good old you going offshore by yourself on your little boat and catching some snapper and grunts and having a good old jolly time. And I totally understand that. I've been thinking a lot. I've been looking at my uh, YouTube analytics, my statistics, which videos do good, which videos don't do good the style of editing that you guys like. And I, I found something interesting, according to my statistics. It's not necessarily if I'm doing something new or different that matters. 
as long as I portray it in a very fun way, you know, I'm saying funny stuff, I'm doing stupid stuff, I'm just being very like, yeehaw, gonna have a good day today kind of attitude, and I'm talking to the camera, and I'm just being interactive with the audience. Those videos all do well. It doesn't matter if I'm solo fishing by myself on my boat, making an air gun video, if I'm building a John boat, or whatever it is. As long as I bring some, f is, if I keep my videos fun, they do well. And I think with a lot of the videos I've been doing recently, I think it was missing a big fun factor. I'm not talking much. I'm trying to be more cinematic. I'm, tr I'm trying to do all these things. You just gotta bear with me. I'm always trying new things. I'm, tr I'm learning as I go. I'm trying to figure out what you guys like, what you don't like, what you guys respond well to. And I'm always reading the comments. I'm reading my analytics and I'm just trying to make the channel the best that I can as I progress. There's gonna be a lot of solo fishing coming up because I wanna bring you guys that OG style footage that y'all are craving. And then there's gonna be a lot of new stuff where I'm just gonna try new things and I'm gonna try my best to keep it super fun. That's all I gotta say. My boat is for sale. If anybody is interested, you can contact me at heiko at southwaterfishingchannel.com. Shoot me an email. I do like to fish a lot. I just really want a 30, 32 foot boat with two engines right now. That's what I'm looking for. Something small enough where I can still do uh, solo trips, but something big enough to where I'm offshore 30 miles and a storm comes, I'm not, you know, butt clenched thinking, oh boy, I hope this isn't the last trip I'm on. <laughs> oh God, why does that happen to me so much? But I'll keep you guys updated on all those things happening. Yeehaw! And don't forget, you'll help me out so much if you go to Extreme Outdoors and give them a subscribe. I'm linking their YouTube channel in the video description below. I'll pin a comment with their uh, channel. I got a lot of videos on their channel where I'm on their boat, we're fishing, we're doing fun stuff. It's a great group of guys and I think that they're gonna have some really sweet content coming in the future. And they already got, I think, 76 videos out, so they already got a ton of comments, or contents, not comments. But speaking of comments, when you subscribe to them, leave them a comment, so that way they see all the comments from, uh, from you guys. They're like, oh, Heiko's people are showing up. That'll make them happy, and when they're happy, that means bigger and crazier trip opportunities for me. Yeehaw! All right, guys, I'm, I'm out, I'm actually gonna go back to editing. I rearranged my office a bit, check it out. I'm gonna go back to editing so I can put another fishing video out. I don't even wanna show you guys this, but all of my swing trades are super down today. So if you hit that like button, I'll feel a lot better about today. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.